The next setting that you'll find on your iPad um, relates to another type of communication that can happen from an iPad or some sort of iDevice or most devices, which is Bluetooth. Now, commonly in the first generations of phones, um, there were two forms of communication. There's infrared, which is exactly like your TV remotes, but they also had Bluetooth. And a lot of people attribute Bluetooth to the transferring of files um, on a phone. So in other words, you can Bluetooth to your friend. On the iPads, they don't actually work that way. Um, Bluetooth is usually for sharing between um, accessor accessory devices. So what will happen is that you can send um, sound out to a speaker system wirelessly using Bluetooth. Um, you connect a keyboard to this thing, um, to the iPad using um, the Bluetooth connection as well. It's actually not set up um, to transfer files between one point and another point. Um, the key reason for that is because um, an iPad actually doesn't have like a central storage space for files like a normal phone or computer or that would normally have. Um, each individual app has its own storage and its own way of handling um, files. So the communication is handled between app and between app, not between iPad and between iPad. All the iPad's doing is using its, usually its Wi-Fi connection to transfer files. So Bluetooth, just so you know, is only really for keyboards or communications or input and output devices we call them speaker systems and any other device like that um, it's not used for sending files it's really important that you try not to pair it with your devices because it just won't work to send a file